Hey guys, welcome to part three of the e-commerce team. Um, in the last video, we left off at this point where we created the showcase. So we created the showcase. This is the intro. This is the slogan, and this image. This is where we left off. And in today's video, we're going to move on. We're going to continue with um, the other section. So without further ado, let's just jump in. So right now I'm going to create, I'm going to come down here into this place and below this section I'm going to create another section with an ID of Dr. Dash Martins like this and then I'm going to have our div with the class of container once again connect here on the front okay there yeah, and inside this div I'm also going to have another div um, with the class of Dr. Martins like this. So in here I'm gonna have a div with the class of image. I'm just going to house the image like this. And I have an, our image with the source which will be in our in image. Then the image we're gonna use is Dr. Martins the JPEG and our oh we're gonna try Dr. Martins like this. So below this div with the class of image, I'm going to have another div with the, um, the class of content. So in this div, what we're going to have, um, we're going to have an H2 that says Dr. Martins. And below the H2, we have a paragraph tag, some dummy text. I'm going to say Lauren, and just going to give me some dummy text. And after the paragraph, I have an A tag that goes nowhere. Then inside the A tag, I have a button that says "Buy Now," like this. And this should be all we need, I guess. So let's save this now and take a look. So as I'm using Prettier, here, Prettier here formatted this for me. So I come in here now and I take a look. It looks like this, which is fine. This is the image. The image is tall and try to long. Image is like this, and it looks just fine like this. So, um, let us now move on to styling it. So, I'm going to go to our style sheet. So, I'm going to go to style.scss, and below the showcase in here, I'm going to have, um, let me just put a comment that says. So we know what we are doing. Oops, second type today. So I'm going to say Dr. Martins. This is an ID. And in here, I'm going to have a background color of the primary color. I want it to be the primary color. And I'll change the color to oops, a uh, white color like this. And in here, I'm going to next. I'm going to say um, also want another. Um, I want to grab the class that is in it right now. Right, right now like this and we'll say okay the class wants it to be display of flex I want it to be align items to the center and justify content center and save if we take a look right now it's gonna look like this which is fine this is the image the image is taking most of the space but well, that is still all right for now so what should we do um I guess we should grab the image and fix the image right now because right now it's too large so i'm going to come here i'm going to say dot image which is the div not the image itself but the div that that contains the image i'm going to give it the flex property of one i'm going to grab the image right now i'm going to say okay right now the image i'm going to give it an height of 100 percent i'll give it the width of 90 percent and i'll give it an object fit of set of cover and save and take a look. Now it should look it should look much better now I guess it was really good for good luck. And there it is we can no longer find our image. What have I screwed up? Okay let's see what have I screwed up what have I screwed up um I seriously have no idea. Where is our freaking image? Um let's see what could have gone wrong Let's check our developer tool. This is supposed to come up right now. So, where is our developer tool? 
Yes, I seriously have no idea why this one show. What could have come along? Really? I seriously have no idea. Let's just come this out once. Check this out together. Okay, now the image is showing now. But we we'll just uncomment this and we'll just comment this out first. I guess this is the reason. Let's we'll see. Yeah, that was the reason it was like that. Because we added the flex property of one to it, and we have not added flex property to the other element, so the other element just took over the whole space. Most likely, what happened? So let's just add that just now. So I'm gonna come here and say content. Um, I'm gonna give it a flex of two. I'm gonna uncomment this right now and save. And this should work. So yeah, it has worked. It fixed it already. Because I we just needed to add. The flex property to both divs so now this is working fine as you can see uh, we don't have to deal with the text or stuff everything is just working really fine so yes, I guess we can continue right now and one thing I would like to do before I forget though is to change the font size of the paragraph so I do not forget because I would like all paragraphs to have um, a font size of 14 pixels. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna say paragraph. I'm gonna say font size 14 pixels and save. And that should fix it now. It looks like this, which is fine. Yeah, so this looks much better now. So um after this, what do we want to do? Um take a look at this. I also like to add more content to more stuff to this content. So in I'm gonna give it a display of flex also. With an, an um, flex direction because right now it's in by default, it's in row, it looks like this. So I'm gonna give it um, a flex direction of colon and it's gonna format automatically like this back. Then I'm gonna give it an align item to send to flex start rather because I want it to be on my left hand side and not give the justify content to the center and also let's add some padding. To the left and right, so let's see zero at the top and bottom, then on the left and right, three ram and save, and it's gonna look like this, which looks fine. So um, after this, what would I like to do? I would like to deal with the button right now because right now the button looks like crap. So to deal with the button, uh, let me look for the button. Hold on a second, just checking the other screen just to get the button. Yeah, so the button is also going to be like a general thing because we're going to have so many buttons along the project. So I'm going to come to the utility class also. I'm going to add it to the button. So I'm going to come here, right? And where should I put it? Let's put it right here. It's a button. I'm going to give the background color of our light color. I'm going to give it a color of our primary color because that's the color I want it to be. I'm going to give it a padding. Oops. What was that? Oops. I forgot to make a semicolon. I'm going to give it a padding of 0.5 rem top and bottom, 2 rem left and right. After that, I also like to add some margins to the button. So I'm going to give it a margin top and bottom, 1.5 rem, then 2 rem left and right. I also like to increase the font size to 1. 0.5 frame. Let's take a look at this right now and see how it looks like. So it looks like this, which is fine. Oops, I guess I've screwed something up. It's actually supposed to be zero, not not so. So if you see we'll take a look. It looks like this, which is much better. So I also like to um, remove the outline because I don't like the outline. So I see outline of none, then border of none, and I also like to give the cursor of pointer. So it looks like it's actually clickable and it's gonna look like this which looks just fine this is very very alright for what we want so this is alright I guess and what do we want to do after this I guess we'll just add um, a padding because right now this is all stuck to the top of the section so I'd like to add a padding to it I'm gonna come right to the style sheet also right here I'm gonna give it a padding of one at the top and bottom, then zero at the left and right. 
See where I save now. Let me see. Oops, what have I done? Save and we take a look. It looks like this, which is just fine. So I guess we are getting there, guys. We are doing very, very well. So this looks very alright. So apart from this, what would we would like to do. So we just move on to our. Um, let's move on to. Come in, guys. Let's check something real quick. So let's move on to uh, the next section, which is going to be. It's going to be the Jimmy Cho. So when you come here, right below this section, when you come here, there's a section with an ID of Jimmy Dash Cho. And in here, we're going to have um, a class of container like usual. I can't spell container for God's sake. A class of container, I'm going to have another class of Jimmy Dash Cho. Oops, I spelled Jimmy wrong. How did I cut that? Oops. Yeah. So in here I'm gonna have an H2 that says Jimmy Cho. And in below the H2, I'll, I'll have an H4 so that says women. I don't know where I got this text from, I just got them called the internet. It's quite funny. With the crystal and Meant like this, and what do we need also? We also need our image. So let's add the image. It needs to be in the image folder. that's going to be Jimmy Cho, and also add our source, our, our alternative is Jimmy, um, not Jimmy Alt, but Jimmy Cho. And if after this, if we take a look and we save now, it's going to look like this. So let's take a look at this. It looks like this, which is quite all right, not too bad. But we're going to deal with the styling now because it can be better. So I'm going to go to our style sheet once again. And in the style sheet, I'm going to grab the ID of Jimmy Cho. So copy this, then let's come right here. Let's say Jimmy Cho. And the ID of Jimmy Cho. And what do we want to do to it? As first, um, let me see. Sorry about the on. Um, if you can add that, um, I like to give it a background color of a light color. And I add some padding to it of 1.5 frame at the top and bottom, then zero at the left and right. So if I save them and take a look, we will not actually see. Okay, yeah, the color actually changed, so it looks like this, which is fine. So. Um, what would we like to do next? We would like to um, grab the class in it. So I'm going to come here and say dot Jimmy dot show. And in here, I'm going to have a display of flex. Oops. A display of flex. I'm going to have a flex direction of colon so it's vertical not horizontal i'm going to give it an online item to the center and justify content to the center if i save and take a look it gonna look like this which is fine this is quite all right so uh we'll just grab the image because right now oops what am i doing because right now the image looks a little bit too big a little much and it should be so we'll grab the image i'm going to give it oops I'll give it an height of 500 pixels also and I'll give it a margin of 2.5 frame at the top I'm just margin for margin top and I'm going to give it an object object fit of cover and save and this should do the magic so let's take a look at this and this has done the magic this looks much better it looks really nice right now so i guess this is what we're gonna go for so this looks quite all right and i guess we are through with this jimmy cho section and now we are on to the box section so right now the next thing we need to do is i guess the, the um the products which are in the box so right now i'm gonna come below this section i'm gonna put another section with an idea of boxes 
they're quite identical as you can see where a lot goes into it we we'll come up our container as usual give it a class of container now that class of boxes and in these boxes we're going to have different um we're going to have different tags in them and I'm going to have an eight tag which is going to wrap everything around so this one is going to be for the nike air so it's going to go to um, nike dash air dot html we have not created the file yet but we will and let's see should we add, should we add a class of box to it yeah like this and what should we do in this we're going to have an h3 that says nike air and in the issue we have an below the issue rather we have an image with the source of the image and this is going to go to nike then the alt is going to be nike air and i guess we can copy this down three more times so alt shift then down 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 boom because so we can change this is going to be for what the class so we can call this and we can delete this like this and in here we just change the name to this i guess we have a lot to change too and for the next one this one is going to be uh um, what would this one be this will be this then 90 um this is just going to go to what the real 90 and the name is going to be this so Apart from this, let's change this also. This one will be what? Oops. Like this. And let's change, let's do this also. And this is going to go to the Jordan. So this is going to be Jordan. But this Gmail. Oops, I forgot. This is also going to be in lower case, not capital case. So this is also going to change to. Hair Jordan. Oops, oh, hair Jordan. And the image is going to be linked to Jordan. Like this thing. Let's change the all star goes to Jordan. Oh, uh, let's call it Hair Jordan, really. And if we save and take a look right now, um, we will see this change. And here it is uh, loading because the images are quite large so it will load up now and these are the images the four images oops i guess i've put something up with the image with this image so let's go check that out and this image is this without the 90 so if we save and we take a look now it should work so this is it these are the four images we're going to use for the product so where is it once again yes yeah, so this is it so now we're going to go to the styling which is quite much it's much easier because in this case we're going to use the css grid and the css grid which is also in that new technique so i'm going to come in and say boxes and i'm going to grab the id of boxes i'm going to give the id a background color of the light color um, I have some padding also just to push them down a little bit in top and bottom and then I'm going to grab the box the class of boxes rather and what would I do to this mm. I guess I'm going to give it a display of grid and if you know um, the CSS grid properly you will know this will do nothing for now oops I guess I forgot to save this oops, oops I did ok so this will do nothing for now like like it is doing nothing right now so the fix to this is uh let's see we're gonna come here now i'm gonna say grid template colon and we're gonna make it what i'm um, gonna make it repeat and two times one f r like this and this is going to fix that so if we see when we take a look and it looks like this which is much better now and guys i feel like i've screwed something up once again so i made a mistake earlier and i guess i just realized that let's go back and fix that real quick so um in the utility 
in our a tag this is actually supposed to be the primary color because right now you can see this is probably a little bit unreadable so this is actually supposed to be the primary color so i'm going to call this primary color and this should fix that but this is going to get screwed up already yeah the name which is this so to fix this i'm just going to come right um right to the header let me just let me just confirm this so i'm not screw this up once again so i'm going to come right to the header once again and fix that i just realized i screwed it up so um in the logo right here let us uncomment this and in the logo i'm going to grab the a tag and i'm going to say color and white color and save when that's fix it so now everything is working fine and everything is back to normal i guess we're back on track and everything should go much better now so this looks like this it looks screwed up a little bit but we're gonna fix it in a bit so let's continue and let's go back to our box which is where we are and we're gonna fix that right now let's continue so in you also need to give it a grid gap just to put some space in between grid dash gap give it a grid gap of what uh let's, see, let's give it a grid gap of two rem and save and take a look let's see how it looks like so there's some space in between which is fine so now uh, oops, i want to grab each individual box which are which are the eight tags so i'm going to call the eight tags i'm going to say uh, oh, I give the class of box, right? So I'm going to say box, and in there, I'm going to give it a background color of gray. Or a gray color, I guess we have not used it at all. A gray color, I'm going to give it a padding just to push things a little bit of 2M all around. And if we save them and take a look, it's going to look like this, which looks much better now. This looks fine. This, don't worry, we're going to fix this in a bit. So, this looks much better now, and and so let's kind of fix this now so to fix this we're going to go back to our index file and in here in the last box which is the edge of down we're going to come here apart from the class of box we're also going to give the class of last and save so we can access this specific a tag itself so we're going to come here right now i'm going to come um below the box i'm going to say dot last and in here we'll just give it a background color of the primary color like this and save when it looks like this which looks fine and i like to change the h theory because right now the h theory is unreadable so i'm going to come here i'm going to say h theory also i can change the color so we can see it so the white color like this and save and that has been fixed i guess yes that has worked fine so let's continue with the box so in the box here i'm going to grab all h theory once again i'm going to give the text align to the center and um, with the margin bottom of one rem like this and same and i guess we are true with this right now so let's see what we have going on so it looks like this which looks fine this looks very very all right i think if we click on one of these actually going to take us it was a um it was to nowhere because we have not created the file yet but at least now we know this works so so far so good i've been able to create all this and it has been really nice so um the next thing we need to do right now is let's see our top brand so we have the top brand and this is the top brand and after the top brand we're going to call it a day and we'll make it, we'll make it end for the video so let's do the last one which is going to be the top brand so right now i'm going to come right here to the to the in um, to the index page and below this section i'm going to have a section with an id of top dash brands oops brands in here i'm going to have a class of container like we usually do and in the container i'm also going to have a class of top dash brands like this so i'm going to have an h2 that says shop uh top brands like this and below the h show have a div the class of image oops the class of image and in the div i'm going to have several images about five of them and this one is going to be or oh, it's on um, the image and the first one is going to be the jordan logo which is this 
Then I guess I can just um give it an auto show down. Oops. And I can copy this down four more times so once more. Then that the children logo we have we have Jimmy Cho logo. We also have this should be Jimmy Cho. And the next one we have uh let's see Dr. Martin's logo. Then let's change this to Dr. Martins. Then the next one should should be Clark's logo. Oops. Then we'll change the all to this. Then the next one. Uh, what should we call this? this? Should be the Nike logo, I guess. Then we'll just call this Nike A yeah, like this. And if we save and take a look right now, it's gonna look like this. Where are you? So it looks like this. These are the images like this. So I guess we cannot start styling this up once again. So let's see what do we do. We go to the style sheet as usual. We do not go out to the market. We go to the style sheet and gonna say top brands like this. I'm gonna call the ID of top dash brands and in here I'm just gonna give the background color of our black color. I want to make this black. I give the color of white. So our white color, I'm gonna give it a padding of two red and zero at the left and right. So we see when we take a look, it's gonna look like this, which looks nice, at least to an extent. So I thought I'm gonna grab the class of top dash pants now. And this is the class, I'm gonna make it a display of flex. Uh, I'm gonna be the flex direction of colon and save. And it's gonna look uh, still the same, I guess. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it an align item to the center and justify content to this. Oops, let me justify still. Content to the center and save. Then this is now at the center, and all these are at the center, which is fine. So let's grab the images. So I'm gonna say dot image, the div with the image. I'm gonna give it a display of flex. So as just to, um, so just to make everything. Horizontally, so if I see display of and I see it looks like this, but the image keeps breaking out. So, to fix it, we're just going to grab the image real quick and just reduce the width of the image to 200 pixels. This should fix that, and it looks like this like magic, it has fixed it already. So, I also like to um, add the display, f um, the flex property, which is the flex wrap. So, I want the screen become smaller this automatically goes to the next line because right now let me show you this looks all right on the full screen but on the more smaller screen and they become they start to go out of the screen like this which is not what we want so to fix that we can just come here and we're going to have a flex of wrap and we're going to make it wrap we're going to make it wrap like this and save so at this point if our screen becomes much smaller it just goes to the next line like this, so like this. Once it becomes much more like it goes to the next line like this, which is fine, which is what we want. So with that, let's continue. Let's just add um justify content to the center, align I oops, align items to the center and give it a width of 100 percent with a hue of pointer. And I guess that should be all. So if we save now we take a look. It looks like this, which looks fine. So um, let me see. I guess I actually want to add this crystal pointer to the image right here. So let's see. Yeah, this is what I want. So this looks fine, and I guess we are true with this part. So I guess we're going to put an end to this video now. I don't want the video to be too freaking long. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you have not subscribed up to now, please. I will highly appreciate it if you can subscribe. And if you have other questions, please leave it in the comment below. If you on, if you have run into any problems along the line, please leave it in the comment below. I'll be sure to look that up. And you can also follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter. I'm also on Instagram on the Tom Media. So you can search me up, and there will be a link in the description below. 
to my social media page so you can grab that and you can follow me so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video